Welcome to Key Stage 5 Chemistry Podcasts. This podcast explains what first ionization energy is and the factors that affect it. It assumes that you know about simple atomic orbitals and can write electronic structures for simple atoms. Defining first ionization energy. The definition of first ionization energy is the energy required to remove one mole of electrons from one mole of gaseous atoms in order to produce one mole of gaseous ions, each with a charge of plus one. Things to know about the equation for first ionization energy. The state symbols of gas are essential. When writing about ionization energies, everything must be present in the gas state. Ionization energies are measured in kilojoules per mole. They vary in size from approximately 380, which is very low, up to 2400, which is very high. All elements have a first ionization energy, even those atoms which don't normally form positive ions in test tubes. The reason that these atoms don't normally form a positive ion is because of the huge amount of energy that would be needed to remove one mole of its electrons. For example, helium has a first ionization energy of 2,370 kilojoules per mole, which is energetically unfavorable as it is so high and therefore doesn't happen. Patterns in first ionization energy. There is a very obvious pattern to the first ionization energy as you move across each period in the periodic table. It varies in a very clear repetitive way. This repetition of the pattern across each period is known as periodicity. That means, for example, when you look at the pattern from lithium to neon and then compare it with the identical pattern from sodium to argon, you will see those identical changes all the way through. The variations in first ionization energy can all be explained in terms of the structures of the atoms that are involved. So what does affect it? Remember, ionization energy is a measure of the energy required to pull a particular electron away from the attraction of the nucleus. A high value of ionization energy shows a high attraction between the electron and the nucleus and vice versa. The size of that attraction is governed by four factors. Firstly, the charge on the nucleus. The more protons there are in the nucleus, the more positively charged the nucleus is, and therefore the more strongly the electrons are attracted to it. Secondly, the distance to the electron from the nucleus. Attraction of the electron for the nucleus decreases very rapidly as distance between them increases. An electron that is close to the nucleus will be much more strongly attracted than one further away. Thirdly, the number of electrons between the outer electron and the nucleus. As the number of electrons between the nucleus and the electron being removed increases, the pull of the nucleus on the outermost electron that is being removed decreases. This is lessening the pull of the positive nucleus by the inner electrons because they get in the way. This is known as screening or shielding. If you think about sodium with a simple electronic structure of 281, between the outer electron and the nucleus there are two full layers of electrons in the first and second quantum levels. The 11 protons in sodium's nucleus have their pulling effect greatly reduced by the 10 inner electrons. The outer electron therefore only feels a net pull of approximately plus one from the centre. Finally, if the electron is on its own, or in an orbital, or is paired with another electron, two electrons in the same orbital experience a bit of repulsion from one another. Remember that like charges repel. This slightly reduces the attraction of the nucleus so that the paired electrons are removed more easily than you might expect. So a quick recap. First, the definition of first ionization energy is the energy required to remove one mole of electrons from one mole of gaseous atoms in order to produce one mole of gaseous ions, each with a charge of plus one. Two, the state symbols of gas are essential and ionization energies are measured in kilojoules per mole. Three, ionization energy shows periodicity, a repeating pattern as you cross successive periods. Four, there are four factors that affect the size of the ionization energy for any atom. One, the charge on the nucleus. Two, the distance of the electron from the nucleus. Three, the number of electrons between the outer electrons of the nucleus. Four, if the electron is on its own in an orbital or is paired with another electron.